you go, you'll never see your daughter again. He won't allow you back into the country. My father is dying. I've got to go see him. I don't think he'd want you to, Betty, if he knew that it meant losing your daughter. Why can't I go now and then come back? Maybe later try to get out. You can't leave Methob here, not with Moody's family. They're from the provinces. They're more fanatical than most. This regime only encourages them. Look, there are some people in this country that consider a girl ready for marriage at nine years of age. Child brides are not unknown. If you want to be free with Mehtob, then you've got to leave on the 29th as we agreed. But he may send me out before, maybe even tomorrow. I don't know. He hasn't said. <laughs> For the war, they take them younger and younger, 12 years old some. They give them plastic keys to paradise, made in Taiwan, and tell them that they'll go straight to heaven if they die for their country. They use them sometimes to clear the minefields. Children run across the field and get blown to pieces. Okay. We've only a week to go. He's got to get your passport validated. He can't do it in the time. Believe me, it's just not possible. He trusts you now. Try and do anything you can to delay him. Where were you? Moody, I went to the market. I, I wanted to buy my father some gifts, but I couldn't find anything I liked. <laughs> the one day I come home early. I've let you go. I've given you freedom. Now listen to me. If you don't do exactly as I say, I'm gonna have to lock you up for the rest of your life, and that means you'll never, never see Matab again. Do you understand me? Now, on the 26th, you get on that plane to America. You do exactly as I say. You send everything back here, and then you return. And in the meantime, you do not touch the phone, and you don't step one foot outside this house. Now, is that clear? Yes. 